everybody, make sure you check out this week's episode of the Parts Room Podcast, where we talk about V8s, and are they a necessity or a luxury? So I guess that's the question is, what at what point do you decide, man, I got to do something to this Jeep engine, and either whether I got to put a performance monitor, you know, adder to it, or pull it out and put a V8 in it? Like, at what point does it become necessary to do a V8 swap, or is it just a luxury? I had a question. I yeah. got a couple of them, actually. My, the Hemi swap that I have was America's most wanted. It was 505 horsepower. I know they have a 707 and an 808. Mm-hmm. So I'd like your opinion on those three, which mm-hmm. one of your favorites. But oh, yeah. The other question I think people probably wonder is LS versus Hemi, what kind of horsepower versus torque can you expect um, between the two of them if you're staying with the 505 package on the Hemi? Yeah, and that's what, that's what most people listening want to know, right? I mean, good question. Um, and by the way, we didn't rehearse this, so... <laughs> No, we're just winging it. Good job, Tony. I think people need to be really honest with themselves when they're talking about doing a V8 conversion. And it it, it comes down to how much time are you actually going to spend off-roading the Jeep? You know, how much, but more importantly, how much time are you going to actually spend daily driving the Jeep? Because I think that's where the V8 really, uh, I guess if you're going to try and rationalize it and say it's necessary for you to have it, that's where it comes into play. Unless you're just some outlier that has like 30 vehicles and, and, and takes them all off road or something like that. And, and, you know, then, and you got unlimited budget, then you could just V8 swap everything that you own. But if this is a vehicle that you're going to be daily driving and doing some off roading, moderate off roading, then the V8 is probably a lot uh, easier to convince your wife to let you do it i think that's the best way to put that right but let me ask you a question then while the cameras are on you you have you've driven obviously you've driven your swap have you driven or spent any time in the factory 392 and what are your thoughts on it the the hemi swap you did in mine the amw one is just it's just raunchy and rowdy and it's nasty it's just nasty oh man that thing hit yeah and this thing was maybe more domesticated it might be something that somebody would appreciate more if they were just going to daily drive this thing yeah. every day but for me i love that we've had guys from uh send, send their Jeeps from all over the country here to get uh to get swapped and it is the best man it's what i do this for is when i walk out there with them and they put that key in it and they start it for the first time and it's just like the smile is from ear to ear and they just they sit there and rev it up and they love it they love the way the 392 sounds the question is going to be are we going to be doing v8 swaps and broncos is there a point to doing it if you can buy a couple thousand dollars worth of a turbo upgrade and throw it on that engine and make almost the same power i mean yeah i want to hear the sound of a v8 yeah. but at the end of the day the bronco may not be that platform you know and we're like i said we're not getting rid of our jeep we love our jeep in fact uh today being january 3rd i got you know we're we're back to work i open up my emails this morning got a great email saying something's on its way here there's a lot more talk and all the answers to these questions in the full podcast so make sure you check it out and don't forget that if you're on spotify you can watch it all in video